Tonight, one of our members of the Australian Football Hall of Fame becomes a legend. He may be small in stature, but his legacy looms large across the Australian football landscape. At five foot six inches tall, Barry Cable was deemed too small for the WAFL when he arrived at East from Apple. Undeterred, he tried his luck at Perth. A skillful rover, he developed his game to become a master exponent of the handball on both sides of his body. Rob Cable gave the handball a game. Gordon centre wing, there's the handball number 20. Cable's extraordinary playing career spans the country. From the west coast to the east and back again. His incredible list of accolades is almost too many to mention. His career at Perth delivered seven club best and fairest awards, three consecutive premierships and three Simpson medals for best on ground and all three winning grand finals. He would win a fourth Waffle Premiership as the captain coach of East Perth later in his career. The moment that Barry stands out to me the most was in 1966 when Barry won the Tassie medal in Hobart where we were playing in the Australian Carnival against the Victorians. He was considered the best of the best on that occasion. A dominant player at home in the West, it was inevitable that he would attract interest from Victorian teams. He was eventually coaxed east by the North Melbourne Football Club. There was no player who had more self-discipline than Barry. He would come to training at the beginning of the season fitter than any player you could imagine. He didn't have to coach him, he coached himself. He was a coach's dream. The goal square actually, up they guess a game for Cable. During his time at North Melbourne, the Kangaroos enjoyed a golden era, and the brilliant rover from the West became one of our game's brightest star. Cable's class and skill made him a key member of the Kangaroos' famous premiership victories in 1975 and 1977. After returning home to the West, a tragic accident on a property just outside Perth nearly cost Cable his life. His playing career was over. He returned to football when he was installed as North Melbourne coach following Malcolm Blight's resignation during the 1981 season. A two-time All-Australian, the recipient of an MBE. Barry Cable is one of our game's most highly decorated players. And tonight we pay tribute once more as we proudly elevate one of our inaugural members of the Australian Football Hall of Fame to legend status.